everybody, how's it going? So if you are ever feeling rushed and you don't want to feel rushed, then this episode is for you. I'm going to talk to you. I tell you a story. So I, every night I put four kids to bed and I recently kind of kind of dug deep, deep into this problem for myself and I said I just don't want to feel rushed anymore when I'm putting kids to bed and the truth is we all feel rushed at some point but we also at other times in the day we also feel not rushed we feel relaxed and so the key is to start noticing when do you feel rushed and when do you feel relaxed and then we can back up from there and ask ourselves okay when I feel rushed in this moment, what am I thinking? Okay, so for me, when I am putting the kids to bed and I am the first two kids, I am thinking, oh my gosh, I still have to put the three other kids to bed. Oh my gosh, I still have to put two other kids to bed. I want to make sure that they go to bed on time um, so they get enough sleep. So these thoughts are creating the feeling of rushed for me. So I had to kind of pay attention to that and I, I got coaching on that and they, that's how I kind of found these thoughts. And so these thoughts, when I think them, I feel rushed. When I feel rushed, I am no longer paying attention to the bedtime. I am in my own head worried about the future, right? And it doesn't feel good to me when I'm with my own, with my two little sweet little twinsies who are so cute but I am not even able to enjoy it because I'm worried that I still have other kids to put to bed and that I won't have enough time, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on time with my own kids when I'm there, right? So that's why I got coached on this. So, but the, at other times, I'm able to feel relaxed and actually enjoy the company of the kids and just, you know, give them a good bedtime and enjoy it myself. And what's then I ask myself, okay, so what am I thinking at those times? And at those times I'm thinking, oh, I have lots of time. Don't worry. It'll, they'll all go to bed on time. They'll get enough sleep. And then I, I so from that I'm aware, okay, I have the thoughts, the contrasting thoughts. In these thoughts, I feel rushed and in the other ones, I feel relaxed and I'm able to be present with my kids and give a good bedtime and, and snuggle them and just love them, right? So then I want to be able to control how I feel, right, in the future. And I want to, I want to solve this once and for all. So the way I did that for myself, and when you're listening to this, think about you and how you are thinking when you're feeling rushed and in the future too, pay attention. Okay. If, when I feel rushed, what are my thoughts? And then when I feel relaxed, what are my thoughts? Right? So that's why I'm kind of walking you through my example. So you can see how it can be done with the whole thought and feeling process. Right? So the, the way, and I want, since I want this problem to be solved for good, I want to find that thought that kind of gives me relaxation always. And the way I have re resolved it in my own head is I basically made peace with the worst case scenario. And my worst case scenario is that my older kids will go to bed a little bit later than you, I want them to. They get a little bit less sleep. And so in my head, I say, okay, I have until 930 instead of nine or 830. I give myself a whole other hour and I say, you know what? I have lots of time and it's going to be not perfect. I'm not going to get them all to bed in time perfectly and get them all like lots of sleep. And I'm okay with it. I'm going to give up that perfection so that I can have peace of mind and not rush through the bedtime. So I'm going to give myself that. Okay, I'm going to give myself an extra half an hour and that gives me full peace like I am okay with the worst case scenario I'm no longer going to try to control and manipulate so that I am done with the early the all of them by the certain time and guess what I have noticed ever since I, I started thinking this way uh, I'm more relaxed I and therefore I'm more present I am more loving more um, enjoying it more and therefore, I actually finish 
if not at the same time, but sometimes even earlier, because the kids and I connect more deeper and we enjoy it more and they get more love and kisses and a more present mom that I actually get the result, the most desired result I want. And I don't get it from my thoughts of being rushed. I'm actually getting it from the thoughts of relax, relaxed, some thoughts that give me a relaxed feeling, thoughts that put me at ease and don't uh, the, give me kind of the abundance of time that I want. I have lots of time. I don't need to rush. And I have, I can take all the way up till 930 and it's fine. Right. So I would love that same abundance of time for you. Um, and you have to be willing to pay attention to your thoughts and your feelings. And when you feel rushed, ask yourself, what am I thinking? And if you need to to if you'd like because other times of the day when do you feel relaxed and what are your thoughts and of course I can help you with that work if you need to and I can help you negotiate it right find the middle ground where you can find the thought that feels good but also actually believe it right it's not only finding the thought that is feeling good but it's finding the thought that feels good and is believable to you like for me, right? I had to, if you can't make peace with the worst case scenario, then that thought is probably not going to work for you, right? If I thought to myself, oh, I uh, need to, um, it's fine that they go to bed late, but I don't feel it. I actually feel more stressed now. I'm like, no, I'm not okay with it, right? So if you need any help with negotiating with your own brain so that you can feel relaxed and not rushed, I can be that guide for you with your own thoughts. I love doing that. And then you can have such a more relaxed bedtime with your kids. And any other time of the day, you can simply eliminate the feeling of rushed and be more present in your life and enjoy those moments. Because when you're rushed, you're not present. You're not enjoying it. You're not there. You're worried about the future. Okay, you know where to find me. It's uh, on my website, www.coachingnatalia.com. Go to sign up for a free session and I will see you on the other end of Zoom or phone call. Okay, guys, I love you. Have a great week. Bye.